students welcome to your new learning to your new class students in this video i'm going to tell you about letter writing and this is part 1 in which i'm going to tell you about letter to the editor what is a letter to the editor how to write it what are the differences between informal formal letter and what is letter all are going to be answered here So as I said, what is a letter? You know very well that a letter is a one-way communication which can be written for different purposes. If we talk about the style of letter, they are divided into two styles: formal letter and informal. So, just as I said, that is a one-way communication means the one who is writing the letter can only express his ideas. Second is the listener. Differences. Yes, students. As you can see, that I have told you people about the differences between informal letter and formal letter. What are the things that a formal letter use, and what are the things that are an informal use? Here we have the clear picture. If we talk about formal letters, so means no short keys, use of title like sir, madam, ma'am, avoid personal contents. and giving details of time place etc usage of formal idioms all sentences are grammatically complete no exclamation marks and all that formal letter a formal letter writing is an important mean of formal communication means you write it for an official purpose means when we write a letter for an official purpose we know very well that comes in the category of formal letter writing but if we talk about their type they are basically divided into four types letters to the editors letter for pacing order complaints letter inquiry letters and all you know very well it also follows a format so formal letter writing consists of sender's address date receiver's address subject salutation body means the introduction developing the topic or ideas conclusion and subscription letters to the editor what is a letter to the editor a letter to the editor is basically a letter that we write for the newspapers and magazines means when we want to grab the attention of the concerned authority towards our problem or our situation in that case we write a letter to the editor means if we write a letter to the editor we want that the concern authority should pay attention towards our problem and solve our problem one more note is there that never ask the editor to solve the problem you are not going to ask the editor to solve your problem your concern authority is going to solve your problem yes points to remember letters to editors are also here with some questions like who are you writing the letter to your reason for writing your expected and action or the result of the solution whatever you feel like except this you also follow the language the tenses word limit and the format very nicely in your mind yes students here i have given you people a solve sample question for your answers for you with your answer or with an answer because i want you people to go through the answer very nicely and do it in your registers you can see the problem is about loud speakers during exam in the answer i have very clearly followed the format which is sender's address date and the receiver's address with subject my subject is to the point then i use the salutation and my content is telling that what exactly is the problem what are the side effects of the problem except this i have also suggested the ideas and then i summed up with some solution i also ended it with your sincerely and the name and designation yes students here is a sample question for you all to be done in your registers hope you all are going to write down wonderful answers in your registers and give your best during this online classes hope so you are going to do well thank you so much have a good day ahead